everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and I have brought back the wavy hair. Seems to be a big hit, which I think is just hilarious because most of my life I have spent um, trying to get, my, <laughs> to get my hair straight. My hair is not curly. I mean, I think you can tell. It's not curly, it's wavy. Um, if I let it go completely natural and I do absolutely nothing, you just sort of looks like it's going in the wrong direction at all times. Um, it doesn't look straight, it doesn't look wavy, so I, I, it drives me crazy. Um, I have someone who cuts it who does an amazing job, so it actually lays pretty well, you know, most of the time, um, but I usually blow it out with a round brush. To do this, um, all it is is, there's a leave-in conditioner I use, a mousse that I use, and then a diffuser. That is the that is the three-step process. I have said I'm gonna do a hair video, and I do need to do that. There's been so many videos, so maybe I'll maybe I'll do that um, at the end of the month. But today is going to be playing with the Kevin Aquan Blitz. Blitzed? Blitzed. Okay. Um, the Blitzed Kid Eyeshadow Palette. And I've said a bunch of times, I'm a big Kevin Aquan fan. Uh, I've loved the makeup artist. Um, and I have a couple of his products that I do enjoy. I'm also gonna use the Surratt blush. I picked up more eyeshadows and blushes, um, even though they were not still on sale because they restocked. I got the notification that they restocked the day after the sale ended. Now, I don't know if they restocked as soon as the sale ended or if I just missed it. <laughs> but I bought them anyway. Um, and then I'm gonna use the Dior face palette in the rose gold. I'm gonna be very careful how I hold it up because this one is broken. So I have to be very, very careful or it's gonna fall right out. I am wearing the um, Cogendo foundation, the aqua foundation, which I'm really, really liking. This is in 013 and this should go up after the skin store video, so hopefully. So you'll have seen me use this. Um, I'm really impressed by this foundation. I think it looks really nice. Great finish, easy to use, colors match is great. I don't know why I didn't try this before. I don't have a good explanation for that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> don't know. So my brows are done. Um, so let's go in with the highlighters. Now, today I'm gonna do something a little differently than I normally do. I am gonna do the um, Designer Pro Sonia G brush, and we're gonna try to see how these look a little bit more, less diffused than I usually do. Like I said, I have to hold it like this, otherwise it's gonna break. So the one that's broken is the Sheer Gold Pearl. There's the metallic pink gold, the shimmer rose, and the metallic golden peach. Let me show you the one that's broken, sheer gold. That's this shade. Then there's metallic pink gold. That one. The shimmer rose. and the metallic golden peach. I'll hold them up really close so you guys can see it really well, but yeah, the palette, like all of the squares are coming out of their housings, which is really annoying, but it is the way it is. So I think I'm gonna use this kind of as the highlighter, and then I'm gonna put this on top of it, like the sheer one that's broken. We'll play around with it. Let's see what we can do. Let's go in with the peach. Like I said, using the Designer Pro. Hair's probably gonna be in the way, but yeah, that's really blingy. <laughs> but I knew it was going to be because this brush is more dense than I usually use the um, Wayne Goss Artist, which is definitely like a fluffier brush. All right, let's use the gold on top of it. Let's be really 
Let's be really highlighty today. Let's use it like right up in here. Right where all my lines are. Why not? Bring you in a little closer so you can see. Okay. Let's take the pink one, put it right down. Ooh, yep. It's very, very pink. <laughs> Let's take a little bit of that. Um, this is the light pink. Kind of put it right here. Why not? Oh, yeah. I am super glowy. Okay, so the only one I didn't use is this one, the super pink one. And let's take that one and kind of like just put it right in there. I am very highlighty now, folks. I am super highlighty. But, you know, it actually doesn't look bad. I think because this rose gold um, quad is very um, favorable to a paler skin tone. So I think even though, um, it's too much, it's not like, you know, it's not terrible because it, it does work with somebody who's very pale like myself. But yes, I look very, very blingy right now. You could probably see me from outer space. Let's take the blush in Angelique, which also does have a little bit of sheen to it because I felt like it today. Why not? It's the holidays. <laughs> Why not have, you know, 16 layers of highlighter? All right. The Surratt blushes and the Surratt eyeshadows, guys, are really beautiful. Seriously, you should check them out. Maybe they'll have another sale. Okay, let's go in to the Blitzed Kid and I will swatch this. Are there names? There are names. Okay, the top four are Basic Laser Beams and Mashup. Basic, okay. Basic is like the color of my skin. You can't see anything. This is like a shimmery pink. This is like a shimmery brown. Well, coppery. And this one is a shimmery purple. So again, basic laser beams and mashup. Then we have Celebration Bash Fizz After Party. Okay. Celebration. Celebration is like a light lavender. This is like um, a taupey shade. This is like a sparkly apricot. And the last is like a satiny silver. Okay, so. Celebration, bash, fizz, and after party. All right, the next four are frosted, all night, extravaganza, and black ice. These are gonna make good inner corner highlights. They're really, this is like a very lilac-y pink, purple, and the black. And those shades Frosted, All Night, Extravaganza, and Black Ice. So that is the palette. Okay. All right, let's go in. Let's go in with the Worker One and this taupey shade. It was like a, it's like a matte. It has more of a, I mean, I guess it's a matte, but it's, it's smooth. And let's just put that all over the eyelid, the mobile eyelid. I'm not gonna put it up into the, above the crease. Okay. That went on really well. If you notice on me, it looks 
uh, more mauve on my eyelids than it does in the pan. I know I've said this a million times, but everything goes pinker on me. It's so funny. You can see it's got like that pink cast to it. Okay. Now let's take a Wayne Goss. Let's take a Wayne Goss number 17. Let's go into the black shade. I'm gonna just dip it in though, be careful. We are having horrible weather here today in New England, which I guess, you know, it's December, so that's not really a shock. Um, but when I say terrible, it's like torrential downpour. And then later today we're supposed to get snow. And to be honest with you, like the snow, that makes sense to me. I mean, it's December. Okay, we're going to have snow. Like, that's fine. Um, but the torrential downpour before the snow... I don't know. <laughs> it just seems raw. It just seems like, okay, well, if we're gonna have snow, let's not have like a foot of rain before the snow. You know what I mean? It just doesn't seem right, but that's what we're getting. So yeah, it's a depressing day outside. Let's put it that way. Be thankful to all the people that do deliveries, whether it's, you know, people who do food deliveries or your packages, or if you're one of those people who does that for a living, thank you. Because I don't think people give you enough credit for how hard it is to do that job, especially now with, you know, everybody, well, a lot of people staying in and not going out. So many more things are being delivered. And I, you know, I don't think people get, I don't think people give enough credit to the people that are truly essential every day that go out in the terrible weather to deliver your food, your makeup, your Christmas gifts. All the people that work retail fall into that same category. You should treat them well. Make sure you do, because it's a tough job. To say nothing of the people that work like in healthcare, which is a whole nother, I mean, right now I don't even know how, I don't know how anyone is doing that. Okay, so um, we've got down a good, base here. I wanted to, you know, deepen up the um, crease and outer corner. I always have one eye that I think looks better than the other eye. I think it's because my eyes aren't perfect. Well, practically no ones are uh, perfectly symmetrical. So like one eye looks better. You know, that's the thing about like when people look at models and they're like, why is a model like so much better looking or whatever? It's not necessary. It's a matter of like millimeters. Usually it has to do with the fact that they're just very symmetrical. So from any angle, they look the same, which when you're taking a photograph, actually very important. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go in with a Refer 02, another gift from my friend Ashley. Ashley, I keep using all your, your brushes. Thanks so much for sending them to me. You did not have to do that. It was incredibly kind. Um, let's go in, what do we wanna use? I wanna use the gray, I wanna use the peach. Let's use, let's use the peach shade. Why not? Let's see what it does. Yeah, I don't really love that. <laughs> I mean, it's not terrible, but I don't love it. But that's okay. We can fix it. That's the great thing about makeup. You can always, you can always fix it. All right, so let's go into that, like, um, it was the uh, like coppery shade, the shimmery coppery shade. I'll sh there should be a little graphic, hopefully, showing you. If it's not, I've done something wrong. Which, you know, could happen because I'm doing 31 videos and my brain could have just short-circuited. That happens. There we go, that's better. I like that shade more. Um, let's take the brush that I can't find. Inner corner brush, take that 
shade that I said would be perfect for an inner corner shade. And it is. Really lightens up that area. Um, and take, I don't need anything miraculous here. Let's take the um, KZ07 and just go into that cream shade at the beginning. Put that up into the brow bone. Okay. All right, let me use my finger on that coppery shade. See if I can get more of like payoff. Yeah, a little. I'll tell you guys, this palette is, is I find it um, a little disappointing because, you know, I, I'm just a huge Kevin Aquan fan. And although this is pretty, I've used so many other palettes lately that have had better payoff than this. Like not, this is not terrible, but it's not, it's not great. All right, I'll use the, um, the black lower lash line and I've got a Wayne Goss number five. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a perfectly uh, acceptable palette, but there's nothing special about it. And the shades, I don't know, the payoff with the shades are not as great as I'd like them to be. They're just, you know, okay. And it kind of is accentuating texture just a little bit. Not a ton, but again, not my favorite. Okay, let me um, curl my lashes, put on mascara. Mascara can fix almost anything. Okay, final look. Definitely looks better with some mascara on. Like I said, it's not a bad palette. I think it looks pretty. I just don't think it looks exceptional. I think it looks fine. And to be honest with you guys, at this point, I have so much makeup that fine is not okay. Like I, <laughs> I need something to be fantastic. I absolutely love it or I don't need it because I have so much that, you know, especially as we go into 2021, I'll be honest with you guys, I, for the spring collections, I'm only gonna be picking up those things that I really absolutely fall in love with because there are so many things that I have done on this channel where I've done first impressions and I haven't gotten to go back and revisit them with you guys to show you how they've worked and how they've, you know, what I think of them over time. So we're gonna be like easing back on the, <laughs> on the new releases. All right, I have the Peachfully Speaking by House of Siage. I absolutely love the smell. The scent on their perfumes, it's very, I mean, on their lipsticks, it's very light. It's not, it's not severe at all, but it just smells really good. It's like a really nice vanilla. It's hard to explain. But anyway, I did have Nude Brune lip liner on before I put it on. I really like the Peachfully speaking. If the other video where I showed the House of Siage lipsticks that I picked up in the Nude collection goes up before this, you'll know that Peachfully speaking, um, looked a little bit more pink when I put it on my hand. And it does, it has a, p a pinkish undertone on me. However, on my lips, if I use something like the Nude, um, the Nude Brune from Chanel, to me, it's like the perfect nude. So it was exactly what I was looking for. Um, I mentioned in that video that I might pick up other shades because I was looking for something that was a little bit more nude for me um, but this one actually worked out really well with um like with the nude brune liner i am actually going to pick up one or two other shades because they have one called i think it's golden hour that looks like it'll be a little bit more warm leaning which i'm interested in so i'll probably pick that up and they are 30 percent off i don't know if they're 30 percent off when this video goes up but when i am recording it they are so overall guys i love the i'm really loving the cogendo foundation the rose gold Palette Dior, I think is a lot of fun. I, I basically overdid it today, but I, I still like it. The Surat blushes, I'm loving. Um, really excited that I've picked up more of the shadows and blushes. The House of Siaz lipstick in Peachfully Speaking is becoming a fast favorite. And again, the smell, the scent is just really nice. It's just a very nice light, like vanilla. It's just beautiful. And the Kevin Aquan Blitz Kid eyeshadow palette. It's not bad. 
it's just not great. And like I said, moving forward, I really feel like, at least for the next three months, it's gotta really just amaze me. Like, I gotta be like, wow, I have to have that. Um, in order to, to, you know, keep things. And so I'm going to be doing some, <laughs> I'm going to be getting rid of some stuff. Um, but to pick up new things, it's, I mean, I have to, I'm just going to have to be blown away because I have so many things now that I really do love and I really want to play around with them a little bit more. I've been saying this for a while and, uh, ha still haven't really had a chance to do it. So that's my goal. I'm going to try to stick to it. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you really, really soon. Bye.